right, so let's do power checks. Negative, cross grass. So, park ticket with brakes. Taxi grass, taxi boot to parking next to Bulldog. Brakes on and locked, set throttle to 2000 RPM, which it is. Controls full and free in the correct sense. So, go all the way around the box, no issues. Left stick, left aileron up, right aileron down. Right aileron up, left aileron down. So, hatches is, no like that, can't talk. Hatches and harnesses are secure. Mine is. That one is. So, loose items are stowed, flight instruments set and correct. So, we're on a, okay, we've got a QNH of 1014. Zero, one, zero, one, four. T's and P's, we've got uh, temperatures in the green, pressures in the green, cylinder head temperature is also in the green. So we'll do a magneto check at 3000. Take one magneto off, small drop in revs, back up. Second magneto off, small drop in revs, do an idle check, back to idle, and reset to 2000 RPM. So, carb heat on, auxiliary fuel pump is on, fuel is on, content sufficient. We currently have. 38 litres of fuel. Go for one stage of flaps. We will the trim. Is set. Carb preheater is off. Take the safety pin out from the recovery system. safely stowed. T's and P's are still looking good, cow flappers as it has been previously, so all set for takeoff. Let's move the parking brake. Let's have a good look around as we roll around. Nothing on downwind. So let's get ourselves to holding point Alpha. Yankee 1026, take it at discretion, the wind 060 knots. Uh, lining up to take it off by discretion, Gulf 50 Yankee. Okay, there's nothing on approach, nothing in a circuit. So, I'm going to do an overhead departure, so I need to climb out and climb to 2000. 300 feet to be back over the end of the runway that I've just left before then turning on to my first heading which is 100 degrees which takes me to Lempster. So just lining up, nothing around. Straight on the runway. Right, first stage of flap is locked. Everything stowed and we're ready to go. Airspeed is working. Keep 
bit of balance. Flaps away, let the speed build. So, twelve hundred feet. Fifteen hundred. Nothing around as far as I can see, traffic wise. Seventeen hundred feet. These are heights above sea level, so I need to get to at least 2,300 2,100 So, don't need to climb quite so quickly but we'll still turn across That's a 150, so just tracking over the end of runway 26. So 2,200 feet, so running down the length of the runway pretty much got a bit cooler up here so there's this hatch so there's my 2300 foot target so I can now continue the climb slightly more and then turn onto my heading of 100 degrees which will take me initially to Lempster. Okay. 
heard uh, thermaling above me in front. That's at 2,400 feet. So just a bit of a lazy turn, bring me around onto my heading of 100 degrees, which takes me to Lempster. So it's... Uh, for level flight now, so at 2,400 feet, it will just climb a little bit more. Heading is uh, 100. My map, so Shopton is on my left, so we are located there. Flaps are definitely away, which is something Ant told me to check. <laughs> so, in balance, 65 knots, 2,500 feet, so location, shoulder on my shoulder, Lamps are in the front, instruments, T's and P's are all looking good, fuel should be sufficient, we will check, fuel is good. And endurance, we've got several hours worth of fuel. And there doesn't seem to be anybody around at the moment. So, two and a half thousand feet. Cloud base looks about two nine or three. So that's the road that takes you to Lempster. So Lempster is on the nose. Five knots, two and a half thousand feet. Just trim it so we're balanced. There we go, trimmed. So we're just coming up on Lempster. There's the railway line on the far side. No other traffic around. Clear Hill is on the left, as I would expect. Black Mountains are on the right. Morgans are over there. Still no traffic around. So just crossing over Lampster. So we'll pass over and then turn left just beyond it. Just descending slightly. A bit more power. More trim. Trim the 
it moves up a bit. So there's a road coming up to Lempster. Actually we're losing a little bit of height here, so a bit more power. So we're down to 2,300. So location, overhead Lampster instruments, TCPs are all good. Fuel will be fine. Endurance will be fine. So, there's the railway line down to the left. Nothing around. I'm going to follow the railway line, but I will follow it from the right. So that I have a clear view and any aircraft coming the other way following it will also have a clear view of it. So let's turn on to my new heading. New heading is uh, 005 degrees. So there's Clee Hill in front with the uh, radar dome catching the sunlight. We'll just uh, overhead the railway line, so if I drift it slightly more to the right. traffic around at all. Very quiet on the radio as well. So there's a railway line just to the left below. Putting 70 knots, we're descending slightly to 2300, so a little bit more power. And actually I'll trim the nose back up. So we're on 5 degrees to head us, take us to uh, Ludlow. Ludlow is uh, on the nose. The railway line is on the left. The railway line pulls away to the left and it curves back round, so we're approximately there. Still no traffic around. Knots, and we're still descending. Must be a little bit of sink. So we'll go to four two because I want to try and maintain two and a half thousand feet. Five degrees approximately takes us to there. So we need to cross the aerials at Woodford and we need to clear them by 2,100 feet. We're at 2,450, so we're good. By the time we get to the aerials, we'll be above that anyway. So we're back to two and a half thousand feet, 70 knots level. So there's the railway line curving to the left. So the aerials are just down to my left there and uh, we're 400 feet above the minimum for those, so that is fine. Clear Hill is kind of on the nose. There's Lempster to our left, and I'm just going to curve around over Lempster. Still no traffic around. We are now climbing, so back off the power. the aerials, satellite dishes.
drifted slightly off my heading, so I need to come back round to 5 degrees. I can see Ludlow in front. Ludlow because I can see on the map that the road curves around to the northeast and I can see the road quite clearly curving around. views today, visibility is good, a little bit hazy in the far distance but it's pretty damn good. So there's clear hill over on the right hand side with the radar domes, I suspect there's a little blip showing on the controller screen somewhere. So location coming up to Ludlow, two and a half thousand feet, instruments are good, fuel 30 litres, which is fine, that gives us a 5 hour endurance, which is longer than my bladder can last. So there's the road curving around the top of Ludlow, there is no traffic around that I can see. So we'll get to the top of Ludlow and turn. So oh, there's Ludlow, railway line curving round, which it does, and also the road curving round, so that is very definitely Ludlow. I can also see the castle and the church, so it's definitely Ludlow. So I want to turn gently to the left, so nothing under my left wing, nothing around in any direction. So we'll start a gentle left turn. Let's go on to a heading of 265, which will take me to Knighton. Lazy turn. Still nothing around. The track straight over the top of the castle, pretty much. So she probably started my turn a fraction early. So we'll just get past this ridge and then turn again. a little bit of height now, so a bit more power, so I want a little bit more clearance over the terrain. Stop, off November, but then uh, just give us a call when you started. 
Right, so there's the road on the right hand side heading out of Ludlow and I need to keep that on my right hand side, the railway line branches away I need to be on a heading of 265 and we're pretty close to that 2400 feet and I'm pack it up 70 knots to location, we've just left Ludlow heading west, 2400 feet instruments are all looking good, TCPs are fine fuel will be good because we checked it just now so now heading on a heading a 265 following the roads the road over there past the race course forks and slits and following the right hand road following along this bridge and we're heading to Knighton which is tucked away in the hills still no traffic around Bit of turbulence. We'll just move away from the hill slightly. Over. Little lift here, I think. Right, so following this ridge on my left, got the road on my right, just coming up to cross a small hamlet in front, which will be that there, I suspect. Nothing around, I've got the Black Mountains on my left, which is as I would expect. The Regan is on my right, so I am definitely heading west. So, this little town coming up below, which we're just about to cross. The road goes underneath us, and then we switch to the other side of the road. So the road will be on my left. So no other aircraft around. So location, we're uh, somewhere between uh, Ludlow and Knighton, just about across this railway line, so that place is about 40% of the way there. You can see the river snaking below. It's getting a little bit more height over these hills, I think. So that looks like Knighton in front, so I'm slightly to the north of my track. Central Brecon Beacons to the left, my 10 o'clock, still no aircraft, oh aircraft ahead, it's a couple of hundred feet above us going from right to left.
good. Helicopter Golf Julia Alpha Kilo Fox Drop 5000 Northeast and Bound for Landing with Chris Trump information. Helicopter Kilo Fox Drop to Robin Newton now 08 with a right hand set, Jeffy 1 3 3. 08 right hand 1003, if there's no conflicting traffic, like to join direct from the northeast, please. Alright, so the runway has changed to Shopton now, so I will be uh, landing in the opposite direction. Report on left up to the right. Which is fine. So we're at 2,700 feet as the hills are getting a bit closer. Oh, I just to avoid the village. Uh, it's going to be um, all right, base 26. There's no conflicting traffic. So, location, we're coming up on Knighton. Yeah, no, that's all fine. Good. Right, no, 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 Hills of uh, Snowdonia over to the right, just about visible. Southern Snowdonia. Record beacons to the left. No other aircraft around that I can see. There's a road on my left, and that is the road that leads to Knighton, which is just tucked away down there. Oh, the the tiger, please, with the tractor. Going to six north by land discretion, and uh, the caution track is relocated to X-ray. Kill the fox, my discretion, and the short Going that way, red kite, at uh, well, just under 3,000 feet. Got a bird ahead. That's a buzzard. It's passing by. Whoops. So, no aircraft around. We're coming up on Knighton. So, my next heading will be approximately at 177 degrees. A little bit bumpier here because of the hills. A little bit out of balance, but that's back in balance now. So there's Knighton under the nose. So I need to uh, just pass over and then commence my turn to the left. Into a heading of 177. If I look to my left, Pretty much looking straight down the skirt from the north. Okay, so location is uh, Knighton, instruments, T's and P's all looking good. Fuel, 29 litres. Good endurance. So 
So here we are at Knighton. So I'm going to commence my turn to the left in just a moment. Lift raise the left wing, nothing to my left. To the right, nothing ahead, so we'll just do a gentle turn onto a heading of 177 degrees. So, central breaker beacons on the nose with uh, the command and van. Ahead. So let the compass catch up. So need to turn slightly more. And there's the road heading south out of Knighton, and we're heading now for Kington. But I'm actually still on the wrong heading. So need to turn slightly more to the left. to 177, which is about there, so 70 knots, 2,800 feet, we're in balance, location we've just left, Knighton heading for Kington, T's and P's are looking good, fuel will still be close to 30 litres with good endurance, so nothing around, looking at that smoke to the left, the wind is light, not really doing a great deal. Now, Kington is tucked way behind the ridge in front so we're looking pretty much straight down the back side of the skirid which is we're looking at northern edge black mountain of the information is Gulf Bravo India X-ray Bravo Break a beacon to the right. Uh, right. Uh, right. Uh, 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 the right. Uh, the right. Uh, the right. Uh, the right. the right. the right. the right. the 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 A little bit of rain. Right, so on the nose now we have uh, Knighton, Kington. Let's get the two muddled up. Kington is on the nose. Radio check back to the turn flight to Hayden. Golf Bravo, Gar Yankee Zulu, shot methylation. Pretty ready, Frank 5, taxi via Bravo to Bravo 1 for runway 08, right hand circuit, QNH 1014. Bravo to Bravo 1 for the right hand circuit, QNH 1014. So that's Christine just passing by on the left hand side. So that suggests that we are pretty much on our track. So the Red in the Hills, I did that mountain bike event on it many years ago now. They don't look so big from up here. It felt big at the time, as I was cycling up and down them. Okay, nothing around in front. There is traffic joining on right base, coming up from Cardiff, but he's going to be well away from where we are. So 
Atlantic, 70 knots. So location just passing pristine instruments. T's and P's looking good. Fuel about 28 litres. And uh, we've still got pretty close to six hours endurance. So that wind is very light, it smoke's going almost vertical off my left wing tip now. Corey on the right hand side. No traffic around. Right, we want to join overhead no lower than 2,000 feet, so... Hilton Golf, Bravo Zulu X-ray Zulu, good afternoon, radio check. Descending south. Bravo Zulu X-ray Zulu, some information, we're looking to take five passengers. Roger, X-ray Zulu, it's Bulldog Aircraft, two on board, uh, returning to Tail West and requesting airfield data. Golf X-ray Zulu, taxi to Hilton Point Bravo, one for one way. 08, right hand circuit, the QNH 1014. 08, right hand circuit, 1014. That's what Right, so... Golf X on right face now for 08. Just crossing the top of... Golf X Bravo, report, final for 08. You can see the runway... Golf X Bravo. see the runway of Shotton on my left wing tip. So we will start our turn to the left. There is nothing ahead, raise the wing, nothing underneath the wing. Left turn. Once I'm straight level, I will uh, make my call to Shopton. Ooh, horribly out of balance. Report overhead for runway 08, right hand circuit, curfew 1003. about I think but we'll get it done so reduce the power now because we want to descend Cole, you have to do is ready for departure off x ray Bravo, cross north side grass on my own taxi pass, no fuel. Cross north side and taxi pass, got off x ray Bravo. Okay, so nothing around, we're now heading. Cook x Zulu, we'll report lined up. East. Cook x Zulu. So I can see the aircraft lining up, so that confirms to me that I'm heading for the right runway. Ok, 
Thank you. 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 So I need to get that end of the runway under my right wing, so I'm going to turn left, nothing under my left wing. Now the traffic in front. So I can see a runway 08, which is the one I'm going to land on. Nothing around. Uh, it's all fixed again. He's uh, overheard and descending dead side. Golf 60 Yankee, report that wind reminder not below 1,500 feet on dead side. See you later, statement. Also, uh, not below 1,500 feet, uh, we'll report uh, on the downgrade for 50 MD. Right, this is the point at which we need to lose a lot of height. So, going in parallel with the runway. Nineteen hundred feet. Seventeen hundred. So there's the end of the runway, so just turning across. So we're going up to a thousand and two. So it takes us now to eleven hundred feet. Shorter that's way Zulu, a different departure. Golf X Ray Zulu, one way zero eight, take up your discretion, the one calm. That's way Zulu. Oh, right, so... So we the one stage of flaps, raise the nose to keep the speed under 60. We're still high, but that's okay because I've got a bit of distance to lose some height. Knots. Can you see that window? Is this for 26 main or north side graph? Uh, Copy, Yankee, uh, descending to go to 08 main. Yeah, probably do that. Can't keep up my own runway changes. It is 08, uh, report 5 to 08 main. Uh, I will go to Copy, Yankee. Keeping it at 60 knots ish, 500 feet. Nothing in front. A bit squashed on the circuit, actually, I would have said. However, we'll get this down. Got one stage of flaps. Hundred feet, sixty knots. One hundred fifty. Oh, 
Right, one sees your flaps, brakes are off. this thing after all. Right. Steve needs his back by two o'clock and it's twenty to two. Good timing. checks. So, shut down. Brakes on, which they are. Magneto check, we'll do it at 2000 RPM. One magneto off, small drop. Magneto back on. Second magneto off, small drop. Back on. Back to idle. We'll do... Come off, come off. 